This week's article is from Billboard and it's really interesting. Let me ask you this though. Have you ever noticed that Boy With Love is similar to Jungkook's Euphoria? And there's something similar. I'll show you. Have you guys been voting for BTS? If not, please check this video and vote for them. I'm really excited to witness another historic moment of BTS at the BBMA next week. Performance with Hosey, of course, and possible winnings for both categories. Meanwhile, I found a really intriguing article from Billboard yesterday. It is about women songwriters who participated in the BTS recent album, A Map of the Soul Persona. These are their stories. Like I said at the beginning, something similar exists in Boy With Love and Euphoria. Well, there it is. Melanie Fontana is the songwriter for both Boy With Love and Euphoria. The mystery solved. Back to the article, Melanie said the process of making Boy With Love was not usual. For your information, let me show you a songwriting process in general. First, a songwriter makes a structure of melodies, rhythms, and chords, and then selects instruments, record those instruments, and do some adjustments, mixing them for the best sound, and making it ready to release. Melanie revealed her process of Boy With Love. She said she didn't know this Boy With Love would be the single, as well as Jose's featuring on this song. Melon even performed at SNL with BTS and their live band Ghost, and she was impressed by BTS members' gratitude on her works. Another woman songwriter for Boy With Love, Emily Weisband, said she was a longtime fan of BTS, but she had no idea how BTS found out about her and contacted her for writing the song. Emily shared her songwriting experience with BTS, and just like Melanie, she didn't know Hosey was featuring and how much her work used. Like Melanie, Candace Sosa worked for Euphoria with the renowned DJ Swivel, and she shared her story of working for Microcosmos. She 
Fisher revealed her connection with DJ Swivel for Euphoria and her experience with BTS. Lastly, she is being thrilled to see BTS performing her music and many BTS fans enjoying them. These two women composers revealed how they got involved in writing Home. Julia recalls the moment like this. They also talked about BTS and their fandom army for being a part of the family. Lastly, Krista praised the way of BTS respect songwriters. Dyson has been working with Big Hit before BTS made their debut. Apparently, she's got a lot of K-pop discography and she expressed her gratitude for working with BTS. Dyson said, it's an honor to contribute her music to BTS and their powerful fandom, ARMY. This Billboard article states over 20 songwriters participated in creating this Map of the Soul persona. No wonder this album has the highest quality in music, lyrics, and overall production. A great effort is being paid off with great musicians and great audiences. And we are all ready for the prime time, which is coming next week. I just can't wait. Can you? <laughs> 